Hello, it's Justin Heyer again with LongRangeOnly.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Zeiss Victory Range Finding Production binoculars that just showed up. We're also going to be talking a little bit about our experiences testing the prototype versions that we've had for the last few months. Stick around. Here you can see the box that the Zeiss Range Finding binoculars come in. These are brand new production level binoculars that we just received a week or so ago. The box has a slight magnetic closure just like the spotting scope. And once you open it up and look inside, it's very clean and simple. They have a user guide, your actual binoculars themselves, and then this carrying case. And I've already gone ahead and opened it up to pull some of those accessories out that come in that case. There is some binocular straps, as well as some ocular and some objective covers and then another strap that goes on to this case. Super easy to get up and running. Let's go ahead and walk through the binocular features themselves. Here you can see two of the Zeiss Victory range finding binocular samples. On the left, we have the 10 by 54 pre-production unit that we've been testing for the past month or two. And on the right, we have the brand new 10 by 42 production model that we just pulled out and we'll be reviewing as this hunting season comes up. Quick walk through of the binoculars, pretty standard in terms of function. You have a center focus wheel here. You have two diopter adjustments. So both barrels have diopter adjustments. That allows you to dial in the range finding display for your right eye, and then you can sync up the left eye with the right barrel to make sure that everything is in sync for exactly how you want it. It also has twist up eye cups, pretty standard, multiple positions, three locking positions, and you can use them in between. I've been using them with the eye cups almost down exclusively. That's how I like to glass and it's worked really well for me. The range finding function operates via these two buttons. You can access the menus directly from the factory using this set button. And then the range button is on the right hand side. That can be switched within the binocular or the app. You can program it to reverse those so that if you were left handed or if you'd prefer to range with your left hand, you can have that be your option. It's very easy to switch. It works quite well in the pre-production version. I expect it will work exactly the same in the production sample. One thing to note about these, this is release, excuse me, this is range on release. If you press and hold it for an extended time, it will start to scan. But otherwise, as you press the button, you'll see the little circular display come up. And when you let go, it ranges. That took a little bit of getting used to for me. But once I was used to it, I actually was able to control these a little bit better I don't move quite as much upon release as I do upon on pushing down. All right, let's take a look at the battery compartment. I've already taken the cap off, but it takes one of these little CR2 batteries. It simply drops right down the front of the barrel there, and then you tighten this up with a coin or a screwdriver. I'm struggling to get it here on camera. Let me pull it off real quick. All right, I'm back, and I have that tightened back in now. Super simple to swap in and out, easy to change batteries in the field, but you do not have a quarter 20 uh, thread to accept many of the tripod adapters. That's just something that's not gonna work on these binoculars as they come from the factory. I use a little adapter that has a plate with an elastic strap over the top that holds them down on the plate. That's what I've been using, it works pretty well. It wouldn't surprise me if someone comes up with an aftermarket version that could accept a stud of some sort. Uh, but as it comes from the factory, you're going to be left with one of those options that essentially straps the binoculars down onto a plate. I want to take a few minutes and just talk about these 10 by 54 pre-production version models that I've been testing for the last month or two. It'll kind of get you familiar with the, some of the features and let you know my experiences with them so far. And then we'll be sure and report back with the production version with any changes, improvements, anything we see that way. So as I said earlier, they are range on release. You go ahead and Acquire your target, push the button, and when you release, it gives you the yardage. Takes a minute to get used to if that's not something you've done before. Once I got used to it, it was actually very easy to get the range. I even preferred it, I think, with these binoculars. It was a little easier to make sure I was on target when I'd release the finger to get the range. These binoculars are able to sync up with the Zeiss hunting app. You can build a ballistics profile, a custom profile for your rifle, and send it to these binoculars. I believe it'll hold up to seven. Not 100% sure on that. I need to do some reading on the production versions. I know it holds three because that's what I've done. It took me a minute to get them figured out in the app on how to get them set up the way I wanted. Once they were there, the sync was almost immediate. It was very easy to get them called up. 
And then as long as I didn't make user error of selecting the wrong profile, the drop data matched exactly what my SIG Kilo 2400 was saying out to 1,000 yards. You know, we're within 0.1 MOA, which is definitely in the noise of the difference in temperature or slight pressure readings that these may take. So super easy to get set up, gives you custom drop right in your binoculars with one push of a button. Now, when you take that range and get that drop data, one thing to note that does not include any wind value. I haven't found a way to, to calculate that inside these binoculars. You can do it in the app. There's a full ballistics chart, but I haven't seen that as an option yet in here. And I'll report back if I find something different on the production units. So that is one thing that if you're wanting to see a wind value as well, I haven't found a way to get that as of yet with these pre-production versions. But again, I'll report back if something changes with the new ones or with an app update. I wanted to test out the system in real life, grab these binoculars one Saturday and a couple buddies went out and were able to get first round hits on targets out past 900 yards using just the information provided by these binoculars. We'd range, you know, make our own wind adjustment based off what we felt. First round impacts were possible. And we actually have a video of one of those here that we'll show, but it definitely shows the system is capable, especially for big game within semi-reasonable distances of ranging, giving a, a drop, and making that shot. Zeiss Victory Range Finding Binos with a custom 65284 profile. Just tell me to go. 888 yards, 19 minutes essentially. Impact. Five o'clock. Shot two with 19 minutes. Impact. It's a 10 inch plate at 890 yards. Hopefully this video has given you a brief overview of what you can expect with the Zeiss Victory Range Finding Binoculars. As I mentioned previous, we're going to take these out for a full review this fall. So look back here for that review with the production version. If you have any questions or comments that you want answered in the meantime, go ahead and follow the link at the bottom of this video to the forum thread that we have. You'll be able to ask them there. We'll get online and try and keep you updated as we go. And we'll report back with a lot of those in the next video as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time on longrangeonly.com.